What is going on team and welcome to this full day of eating video for CrossFit. Now, <laughs> I'm not used to making full day of eating videos and I'm not sure how to make them super interesting. Today I'm using an app called MyFitnessPal. I don't usually use this, I'm usually just an intuitive eater so I'll eat when I feel hungry and I'll eat to the amounts that I should. But today I'm just putting exactly what I usually would on a plate and I'm just measuring it at the same time. <laughs> So for breakfast today, I've got 150 grams of oats, 250 milliliters of milk, one whole banana just to sweeten that up, and then four whole eggs. For me, breakfast is probably one of the most important meals of the day. I like to get a good percentage of my kind of four, four and a half thousand calories that I'll take in during the day at breakfast time. The total of this morning's breakfast is 1,052 calories and the thing that's kind of most important in that is I'm getting around 52 grams of protein. So I usually aim for about 1 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. Because CrossFit is so intense, you need to keep your calories high, you need to keep your protein high to maintain your muscle mass. Simple as that. I think we nailed it. I think we did too. <laughs> For about 30 or 40 seconds. Meal number two of today is probably like my favorite meal and it will be a standard. I'll probably have it five, six times a week. What it is is just chicken stir fry wraps, but we marinate the chicken in a bag with a tablespoon of light olive oil, Nando's curry salt, and then this chicken perfect shake seasoning. We're then gonna chuck probably the whole bag of this just basic stir fry into the pan and add some of my favorite soy sauce. Nutrition for bodybuilding is completely different to nutrition for CrossFit. When you're bodybuilding, your kind of main aims are either to bulk up and kind of put on weight where you put yourself in a calorie surplus, or you just want to lose weight, shred up, and then you put yourself in a calorie deficit. CrossFit, on the other hand, it's all about eating to perform. So you eat to fuel the workout that you're going to do so you can get the most out of the workout so then you can progress as an athlete. And a lot of it does come down to getting enough calories in during the day and the right sort of calories. Before we work out, it's about an hour now before we actually work out. We're having 250 grams of just sweet potato covered in cinnamon. It's as simple as that. Sweet potatoes are a great source of fast acting carbohydrates, which is your body's preferred source of energy when you wanna do high intense interval type training such as CrossFit. We also just added cinnamon because cinnamon's a great antioxidant. And, I mean, you gotta look after yourself. How are you feeling after yesterday? The three ones that are shorter than yesterday. Some more competition specific. Okay. Uh, 
Cards in the London, Cruise with the V in the family Pretty cards in the scammers Hitting the licks in the band Legacies, family Way see them like a panda Going up like a Montana Honey killers on the hands That was an awesome sweaty session. Absolutely smashed it, but now it's time for a little bit of magic. Post-workout today, I'm having a grenade white chocolate carb killer bar. These are just like my favorite protein bars at the moment. They just taste exactly like white chocolate, but they've only got two grams of sugar in. 22 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, and 215 calories. It's like, it's like my sweet treat after I work out. We're home and it's time for meal four of the day. This is kind of like my breakfast meal. It's a meal where I take in a lot of calories, a lot of micronutrients and a lot of carbohydrates to kind of refuel the glycogen stores post-workout. With CrossFit, as I said earlier, you want to kind of eat to fuel your workouts, but also you want to eat to recover. So then the next day you can kind of get up and just go out and smash the next workout. So it's really about eating to perform and then eating to recover. So for meal four, we've gone for 200 grams of hack steak, 300 grams of white rice, and then just a handful of broccoli. Micronutrients to help recovery, carbohydrates to refuel, and then protein to help kickstart your protein synthesis post-workout, helping your recovery again. One thing that I see plastered over social media and I hear all the time from people is no carbs after 6 p.m., no carbs before bed. For me, that's just completely ridiculous. You see, the thing is, if you want to lose weight, then it all comes down to what you put in your body and what you burn. And so the deficit that you put yourself into. What are these? And I think it's even more ridiculous if you're doing CrossFit and that isn't your goal because most of your body's recovery happens at night when it's got time to recover and time to rest. So why not fuel it properly? This also means that if you do early morning workouts, you'll be fueled for the morning workouts. You won't have to eat a big meal before you train. You can probably just take on some BCAAs and then train, then eat your big breakfast after. 100 grams of oats, 150 milliliters of milk, and two scoops of whey. Voila, final meal of the day. Just over 4,000 calories today with 4,024 in total. And that is the end of my full day of eating for CrossFit. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, then do leave it a like rain, guys. And um, we'll catch you in the next one. Just come and pretend to be me. Oh, I can't. What do you mean pretend to be? Hi. <laughs> I, don't, oh, I don't know, without being really offensive, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs>